All right, everybody, we are the headquarters of One Finance, the company behind Pay Later, which recently closed a funding of five million US dollars from Lendable. Hi, my name is Chijo Kedozie. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Pay Later, and you're watching TechBridge. OneFi raised $5 million in debt from Lendable. Lendable is a, a fund in, from New York that invests in lenders, companies in Africa, for instance, ride-hailing uh, companies or even solar, these off-grid solar companies. We raised $5 million to online to you know, SMEs and customers. For us, it's been a great success that we've been able to achieve, achieve that. We're going to be doing um, longer tenor and also increasing in, increasing our SME uh, portfolio. So we actually have we actually lend to merchants as well as individuals. But in terms of the, the sort of the digital bank strategy, um, you know, we're going to be offering, so for instance, Visa virtual Visa cards. Um, we already offer um, wallets. We offer saving opportunities. We give out free credit reports. So when you look at all the functions of, let's say, a typical bank. Um, facilitating transactions, facilitating savings, um, you know, we, we do that already, as well as lend. So that's, that's um, part of our, our roadmap. We've had, um, we have about 300,000 active, okay. um, active as in they have the app installed. We have, we have we've had over 1.4 million people download the app. Um, and last year we gave about 600,000 loans. Um, alone. We will be launching uh, virtual visa, visa cards um, in, by, the, by the end of this quarter. We're also making, for instance, credit reports available on our app so users will be able to not only um, see their credit report but actually monitor their credit, re credit report on, a, on an ongoing basis. Um, and you know, in the future, we'll look at uh, other things like overdraft facilities and, and possibly FX, foreign, foreign exchange um, transfers, working with partners um, as we go along. OneFi is a Mauritius uh, domicile company, and we are actively working with partners in other countries, other, other financial institutions, because we have to be regulated in every market we're in. So we don't want to have to you know, apply for a license in each market. So we're looking at Ghana, we're looking at Cote d'Ivoire, we're looking at DRC, we're looking at Egypt. Now imagine having to run a licensed institution in every single, um, organi every single country would be very difficult. So we're working with, with partner banks that would like to um, set up a digital bank, uh, but they can't. So they want, they'd want a partner like us to set up, help them set up a, a standalone business. So the smallest amount you can get is 1,500 Naira. Um, on your, for a first time borrower, the highest you can get is 200,000. But for a repeat borrower, the highest you can actually borrow is a million naira. So you need to take, you know, you, there's a maximum of 200,000 for a first time borrower. And if, you know, assuming she pays on time, she can, you know, maybe qualify for a million naira, either in her second loan or in subsequent loans. But it's all based on, on your transaction history, you know, within the app. So if you pay well, if you pay on time, um, then you get rewarded with uh, increase in tenor, um, increase in tenor, increase in the, um, the amounts you can borrow, and a decrease in the rates.